Hello and welcome to CodeLad. I'm Ali, and today we'll see how to use Dreamweaver. Now you might all have heard of Dreamweaver. It is a software to write HTML and all web-related languages. You can create a whole website on Dreamweaver. It is a very important and powerful tool. So first of all, let's head over to Dreamweaver. Open it. Two windows will pop up when you open Dreamweaver. This first will be the welcome window. You don't want to do anything with that. Just close it for now. So Dreamweaver is very vast. There are so many functions uh, that I don't even know all of them. So, so I will divide this video into two segments. First of all, I will tell you all the important things which are to be used uh, to create a website which you must know about Dreamweaver and then I will tell you the irrelevant things which you can live without knowing about them. So first of all we will talk about this section over to the right side. Now I am on a Mac. Uh, it doesn't matter you are on a P uh, Windows PC or on a Mac OS X uh, the Dreamweaver will be exactly the same. So over here as you can see it is showing Macintosh HD if you are in a Windows PC it will be showing C drive or D drive etc. So the first thing you want to do is to create a site project. You come to Dreamweaver when you want to create a whole project of a website. So it, you can easily organize it and you can easily go through everything. So first of all the first thing we are going to do is create a new site. So to do that you can go over here on the top bar and click site and then new site over here in the column you can name your site I'm going to name tutorial and you can select a local folder I'm going to choose this documents and over to the left over here there are three more options first of all we'll go in servers now what is server when you're creating a website in real time you need a server either a local server or a remote server now what is local and remote server a local server is a server which is defined on your own computer and remote server is like uh, when you purchase hosting I'm not going to go in detail with that because I'm here to teach you Dreamweaver not about web so you can go here click plus and add a server uh, you have to name you can name anything tutorial I can name it and over here if you are using a, a remote server like hosting uh, you have purchased hosting you should select FTP or if you are doing a local network local server with the XAMPP or WAMP etc you can select not local network and select a folder uh, but right now I'm going to do it with FTP so write an address uh, I have a website of my own this and the port is always 21 if uh, there is any difference you can check it on your hosting website and this is the username and what was the password yeah no I'm not going to say it out loud yeah so now uh, we can test this by clicking this test button that the connection is properly linked the username and password are correct now it will show that it has been connected you see Dreamweaver connected to web server successfully so it has been successful and this is a web URL now you don't want to go in more options that's just really confusing you don't need that if you do this you are perfectly connected so just save it and we have a remote server now now the two things over to the left uh, you basically don't need them they are of no use just stick with site and servers yeah now there's nothing in this folder so it is empty right now so now we can see we have selected the tutorial site over here if you click on the drop down menu you can see I have uh, many more sites over here and this is a tutorial when we have selected this one sorry and this button this code button is used to connect to the remote server when I click this it will connect to the server 
now it has been connected to the server and it is showing us the remote server now I'm going to go back to the local view and this is the refresh button this is uh, the button to download files from the server this button used to upload files to the server this is right now all over here on this column now if you want to create a new file go to file new that's really basic everyone must know that and these are the languages you can select from they all are web languages you can go here and click create and it will create a file for you now you can uh, do that in any other software tool so why is reviewer special now go again in new and as you can see there are templates already provided with all the coding you just have to select anyone which you like like say this portfolio one you just click create and it will create you a whole template you just have to name it and save it copy and here you have whole portfolio web page you just have to uh, put the your personal information in all these words these are some different kind of language i never understand it i can't even pronounce these words so you just have to put your information here now another thing is you know in web language there are html css javascript jquery different things now and you link them to one main index of html or any other html or php web page when you do that they show over here in other software tools you have to separately open each file but in dreamweaver when you open an index or php uh, file html or php file you get all the css uh, javascript and jquery files with them you see these this is a bootstrap jquery these are all here you can easily click on them and edit them that's the beauty of dreamweaver now again you can go in file and over here you can go in preview in browser and click safari and it will open in safari it will directly open whole coding of the web page in safari or whichever browser you like you can see this was a template they gave us all the coding has been done we just have to add our images and our titles and we are good to go now going back to the simple web page now in a simple web page what are the benefits in a simple web page i am just going to i2 save it the benefits are that over here as you can see there are many tabs i'm going to go and insert one and you can see div image paragraph you must uh, be familiar with all these tags so this streamweaver made it easy to write them for example i want uh, an order list i just click it and there's another list tag inside that i want a list item here's a list item inside that i want a hyperlink uh, there's a hyperlink i can add the text of the hyperlink it gives me option like click me and i can add the link for example http google.com i can write target like it is a drop down menu like blank i can give it a title of google and i can give it an uh, index of like one if you are not familiar with these two just uh, you can skip them click ok and you see where you have to write all this line of code you just had to fill a form and it automatically created all of that thing for you uh, again if you want a table just click on table and it will ask for rows columns everything border you can add cell padding you even can add a place for heading header caption summary just click it and all done in a blink of eye you see it's that easy you can go through all these tags there are a whole lot of them now you might have heard of snippets snippets are small piece of code which you can insert in your own website and they perform different kind of functionality sometimes it's some javascript which can change color 
uh, in a very cool way sometimes it's CSS which can transition something and things like that so uh, if you are working on a simple tool you have to go to Google and download those snippets and add them to your site but if you are working with Dreamweaver here's the snippets the most of the common snippets are here you can see there's a whole list of them you can easily add them for example you want an alert alert danger double click it and there you go sorry there you go there's a div tag added with a class role everything set it just will show on the web page now let's go over here and preview this web page you can see the link the table the what was it uh, alert danger alert oh snap change a few things up and try submitting again nice one so in the next step you can see you can add css sources its media query and you, you will actually see all the selectors which has been used over here and you can add more of them but uh, it, it's a little bit com complicated so i prefer not to use it because it's just messes with your head so that's what mainly dreamweaver is there are some short keys and some other things like if you want to create a let's say div tag with a class of say what top you write like this div dot top and press the tab button and it will create the tag itself automatically see there these are some small short keys for doing stuff faster but honestly I don't remember doing this div dot I just write the whole tag it's much easier for me so if you're wondering all these things above what these are they are actually what I show you over here it's insert and snippets etc you can see these are insert menus and things like that and these are the snippets and so all I covered over here is almost the same over here another thing is that you can add comments like apply HTML comment it will, it will automatically write an HTML comment or if you want to comment this whole table you can go ahead and select apply HTML comment and it will comment it another good thing is that you can expand and collapse a whole tag for example this whole body tag I can collapse it and expand it for example if I remove this from the table and I can go over here you can see these arrows this is the parent tag I can just click it and it will automatically collapse and then click again expand so you don't have to find your exact line which you want to find in thousands of line of code it will make it easier the resting over to the left are not that important this is it for dreamweaver guys go through it go through every aspect of it and if you have any questions ask me in the comment section and i'll see you next time have a good one